So here's Emily. We're doing pretty good. What do you say? We're probably in 30th? I don't even want to think about it. I want to not drop on the next upcoming vlog. Hey guys, this is Lee here. Have you ever wondered how the new Sunfish are coming off the brand new assembly line? So in this video, I'm going to review the brand new 2022 Sunfish sailboat that's built by Laser Performance coming out of their new boat building factory in Portugal. I had the opportunity in Sarasota Sailing Squadron to assemble the Sunfish, rig the Sunfish, sail the Sunfish and race the Sunfish in conditions that raise from a drifter all the way to the low 30s in miles an hour. I'm going to go over the boat, I'm going to tell you what changes were made, and if you stick around to the end of the video, you'll hear my suggestions to Laser Performance on how they can improve the Sunfish sailboat even more. So if you could do me a favor, if you like this content, please smash that like button and turn it blue. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. If you have any questions or comments about the video or anything Sunfish or small boat related, please leave them in the comment section down below. I answer and read all the comments and I appreciate it. And now to the video. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm like, look at that. One more set of cell pods. You gotta be kidding me. So, this is the 50th version of the Sunfish World Championship World's Boats. And this is how they come when the competitors. Get the boats. Uh, rudder, dagger board, and tiller in the boat. Oh, Lee, you're right. These are, it is like a gel coat. They are basically disassembled. There's no cockpit baler. The tiller is not attached to the rudder. Even the uh, stopper knots on some of the boats are not even put together. The center boards here. It's a good looking boat. It's ice blue. The year of it is a 22, which is the last two digits of this laser performance built in Portugal. Made in the PT. Responsible manufacturer by Laser Performance. PT. PT's Portugal. And let's go over to my boat. Now here's the mass. Looks pretty much the same. What I noticed about the metal is that it's, it's coming from a different supplier. So the metal has a, actually a different tint. It's a little bit more on the golden side versus the older spars, which are more gray. This does have like, like a gold, a, a rose gold apple. There you go. It's a rose gold apple tint to the spars. You have the quick release and it's stainless steel gooseneck. You have your racing cleats. This is your Cunningham cleat. And you have the outhaul cleat. What's new on this boat are the blocks. We have Nautos. Nauties? Nautos. N-A-U-T-O-S. These blocks, they spin pretty nicely. They are not ball bearing blocks as according to John Butine who actually works with ball bearings he says they're more like bushings so they have this this split ring here so you could take off the block and replace it and this one would be on the front and then you have this one here and this one has a swivel. So now these swivel blocks with these bearings are now class legal because they're supplied by the builder. Laser Performance is the builder. The brand is Nortos. Now you cannot use a Harkin block that has these ball bearings. 
if you're going to use new ball bearing blocks or these new blocks, you have to use this brand. The end caps are like old style. Uh, they're not Opti, like an Opti part end cap. You have the little pin here to hold them in. Gudgeon bracket screwed in. And you have Traveler. This is my center board here. So this is not with the stopper knot yet. And also the handle. We'll put a rope handle here, which is supplied in the supply bag here for the... So this is all the stuff that comes with a brand new Sunfish. We have the sail ties. This is a racing rope package. We have the main sheet line. We have a halyard. This is a bungee cord for the centerboard retaining the halyard. We have the baler here. I actually made a, um, a video on the baler, so you can check that out. And here's um, a 57 millimeter Nautos block that is different from the previous blocks that were Harkin blocks. And this will go here. We have the hiking strap, which is pre-installed here. I'm going to change uh, the, the length and the, dis the distance for what I like to do it. And for this year, the 2022 World Boats are coming with a wishbone tiller. This is nice. What do you think about the new things on Sunfish? Let me know in the comments below. I'm probably gonna change out this tiller extension for this World Championship because I like the way my tiller feels. The rudder is your basic rudder. And the tiller will get attached to there. So when you go to a World Championship, you have to do some, some installation. So if you could do me a favor, if you like this content, please smash that like button and turn it blue. And if you haven't already, Please subscribe to the channel so you know when I come out with a new video. <laughs> I mean, you gotta be kidding me. So Eugene Schmidt bought a sunfish from the World Championship from sunfishdirect.com. He's been sailing it with his son for the last couple of months. I have a FaceTime video with Eugene that I'm gonna share with you right now and get his opinions on how he likes the new sunfish sailboat. Okay, I have to apologize. We have Eugene Schmidt here, who is the International Sunfish Midwinter Champion, right here to your left, or my left, your right. And I have did a FaceTime video with him. Unfortunately, my audio was not recording. It was a 15-minute video. So what I did, I called him back, and I said, we have to do the interview again. He was driving to a holiday party check out that nice red jacket so again i thought i figured it out but the audio still didn't work so i instead of doing the interview a third time i basically am going to give you eugene schmidt's review of the brand new sunfish sailboat with two months of sailing i will paraphrase his responses and his opinions are of his own so i asked eugene how is the boat and Eugene says he likes it, and he has his son, uh, Keegan, also sailing it. And they took it, and they raced it, and he thinks it's fast, and he likes the boat. Particularly said he felt that the boat was kind of lighter. And when I said that uh, in the video, my last video that we made, we actually weighed the sunfish, and they came in 122 pounds. And he says, okay, that really makes sense, because it did feel lighter. Then I asked him about how his boat was holding up, and he said it was holding up good. He said he, he feels that it's really stiff, and, and stiffer is always better. Then I asked Eugene, I said, what do you think about the new sail? Uh, the sails are made in Portugal now, and he says he liked the sail, he liked the sail shape, and he actually thought the sail was a little bit longer on the foot. And the reason for that was because when he was sailing at the Worlds and he was uh, tightening his outhaul, the outhaul uh, pulled the sail all the way to the end of the boom, almost. And so he was saying how his older sail 
when he would tighten the out hole all the way, it wouldn't go as far close to the end of the boom. Then I asked Eugene, what, if anything, is he going to do with the boat? And he said there was a couple of things that he was going to do. He was going to add a port on the deck. And I asked him why is the reason that he's going to add the, the inspection port on the deck. He said he's going to add the inspection port between the splash rail and the centerboard trunk because he wants to put a backing plate and get access to the hiking strap attachment. Uh, the reason for that is because he wants to have the hiking strap mounted lower on the front wall of the cockpit so he could adjust the hiking strap to his liking and he wants to have more area where he could put some lines so he could put purchases in the lines holding the hiking strap. Also he mentioned that the centerboard trunk was a little bit larger than in previous boats he felt and that the centerboard or the dagger board had a little bit more play that he than he liked. So he got a kit of some fuzzy adhesive strips that he's going to add to the centerboard trunk to snug up the centerboard like he did in his previous boat. So overall, he's happy with the new boat and he's going to make those few changes that we mentioned. So if you want to hear more information and tips from the International Masters Champion Eugene Schmidt, go check out my video we dubbed the Hot Tub Sessions. So if you got any value from this video, please don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks a lot, Eugene, for your time. I really appreciate it. So now you saw me review most of the sailboat, and I'm going to give Laser Performance, if they're listening, my opinions on what can be done and what should be done that can make the Sunfish sailboat even better. The first thing I would want to say about the hull itself is that the finishes and the edges were really nice. I didn't have any issues about any spurs or any rough spots, uh, even without the plastic rubber rail inside the cockpit. It was a very comfortable boat and the finishes were very good. The first thing I'd like to suggest is to replace the, the bullseye fair lead on the deck from complete plastic to a plastic one with a metal ring in there, for instance, like this one. I think the metal ring will be stronger, especially if the boat's gonna be sailed in the mid to upper 20s, and it'll create a better sailboat overall. The second thing I would suggest for LP to do is to make all the backing plates metal that's compatible with the, the attachments that they're using. I believe metal would be stronger in the long run. However, if some scientists say that metal is the worst material to use as a backing plate, then I would defer to whatever science. The third suggestion I would make is to drop the hiking strap strap that holds the hiking strap to the front part of the cockpit a little bit lower to compensate for the length of the hiking strap. And the fourth thing I would suggest is to make sure the swages on the bridle or the traveler are really engaged very well. So when you're sailing in winds that are close to 30 miles an hour, none of them will pull out. The fifth thing I would suggest to laser performance is that to make sure that all the rivets, especially along the boom blocks and the boom block straps and also the outhaul and the Cunningham cleats are tight with no movement. If there's a little bit of movement, the movement could loosen up the rivets over time. And the sixth thing I would suggest is to make sure that the retaining pins on the end caps and then the mast caps and the mast base are engaged in the plastic parts so they don't slip out accidentally. Overall, I think my suggestions won't cost the company any amount of money except the only thing that would change the costs would probably be going to metal backing plates and a metal ring. I think the cost would be negligible. So I look forward to the new iteration of the Sunfish next year when it comes out in 2023. I'd like to thank Chris McClellan and his team at sunfishdirect.com for supplying all the boats and the support for the Sunfish World Championship at Sarasota Sailing Squadron. I also want to thank Eugene Schmidt for his input on after the Sunfish Worlds and how the boat is holding up. So if you like this content, you're sure gonna like this video up here. So you can hit that video and then I'll see you on the water. Right.